You know our next guest from her stand-up and also a generation-defining catalog of iconic films and TV shows, Reality Bites, Wet Hot American Summer, Broad City, just to name a few. She'll also be making her Kennedy Center debut on November 15th. Please welcome back to the show, Janine Garofalo. Thank you so much. I, I only have eight minutes and there's a countdown clock counting down and it, and it takes me so long to, to get to a point succinctly and with clarity. But before we get started, about this song, a beautiful song about sexual congress on a, on a plane, but that's that, the bacteria, just to, so much bacteria that, that it really, I'm really not comfortable with that. I, I find that, especially the airplane bathroom, that's patient zero for any pandemic you may wish to imagine. And really, I, I don't like that kind of talk. But what I wanted to discuss with you that I've written on this uh, very quickly, oh God, 727 is counting down. Uh, something uh, that happened to me fairly recently that, I'm, uh, that was unpleasant, but if you bring out what is destroying you, it may save you. If you leave it in, it will kill you. Guy Fieri said that. <laughs> Guy Fieri. <clears throat> so anybody who's ever walked across the Brooklyn Bridge knows that it is a microcosm of poor citizenship. No one observing pedestrian flow, no one observing the bike lane, people just stopping, to, pictures, 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 pictures. Nothing goes undocumented. It's worse than the Stasi. Nothing goes undocumented in modern culture, except oddly ghosts. Now, I know you don't watch television, not this audience, I know you don't watch television, but there's a shows called Ghost Hunters, Ghost Trackers, Ghost Adventurers, I know you don't watch television, but it's amazing how much evidence they're not getting on film. All that equipment, just missed it again. And then there's testimonials. And, and uh, I, I feel like it's 2019, if you didn't bust out your phone to get footage of this, if for no other reason than you're litigious, you can go back to the broker and say, I can't carry the mortgage anyway, I wasn't warned, that kind of thing. Did, was that confusing? I'm talking to you, oh my God, six, uh, nine seconds, okay. Okay, so I was walking across the Brooklyn Bridge and ordinarily I, I don't do that, I prefer to take the Manhattan Bridge. But sometimes it's like, oh, there won't be many people there. It's raining, it's cold, what have you. And yet, uh, I tend to slalom uh, through people and uh, bend as they take their pictures. Now, here's what, where I take no pleasure in telling you what happened next about what's about to happen. Uh, there was, and this is not about gender, there just happened to be a group of females uh, taking pictures. And there was a, a, a woman taking a picture of her friends. The phone was facing away from her, but she was making the face I presume she makes when she gets her picture taken. D does that make sense? In a Pavlovian way. And, and, and actually all of them uh, were posing, Every, everyone involved was guilty of overestimating their appeal. Does that make sense? Uh, and, and that transcends gender. Everyone does it. Just being, if you must, Take a picture, just, can we not say cheese as our ancestors did? Just cheese, that's fine. But anyway, so as I passed the group, and this is what I take no pleasure in telling you, uh, I went, duh, which I haven't done since I used to be drunk all the time. I'm 55 years old, I'm an AARP. Duh is a young man's game. I don't even know if they still say it. So, so I'm, not, I'm, I'm not proud of myself for having done that. It just can't, duh, it just happened. I don't even know if the kids still do it. We can ask Chris if, Cal, we get it, Chris, you got a kid. We can ask him if he I, I knew you weren't gonna like that. He's the nicest guy. Listen, listen. We can do a qualitative assessment on my assets and liabilities. I'm happy, I'm a door holder. Hey, thrice fold now, I've returned a child's shoe. Uh, when they scoot. And I, I pick up the shoe, run after the parents who are on the phone and hand it to them. I haven't had kids because I'm risk averse, but hey, I love babies. I love a fat baby. Fat baby foot's going right in my mouth. But anyway, four, four minutes left. Okay, so uh, as I walked over the Brooklyn Bridge, the, uh, I got almost to the end and the little security Surrey, I believe it's called, the little tiny vehicle came up behind me. And I want you to know it benefits none of us for me to lie to you to create content. I wouldn't do it, not at town hall. But uh, so behind my neck, I heard, excuse me, miss, miss, miss. So I turned around and then the gentleman summoned me and said, there's reports that you're walking recklessly. This is absolutely true. <laughs> walking recklessly. And I could not get my mind around it. And here's what I think happened. Uh, the group of women who I, who I said, duh, I believe they, they complained. Now I give them credit. They, they said that there's someone walking recklessly as opposed to she held a mirror of the society we did not like what we saw. <laughs> 
we were forced to look within and felt a, a great shame. Uh, so I give them uh, credit where credit's due, walking recklessly. Oh, I have three minutes and 18 seconds left. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Um, okay, so here's, I'll do this then. Uh, while, we're, while we're talking about uh, the, the phone, once you overhear inane cell phone conversations, you can no longer underhear them. And there's a thing called the vocal fry, which used to be called Valley Girl Speak when I was young, when I was a teenager. And it was contained to the, sub, the valley of California. Frank and Moonie and Zappa wrote a song about it. That's where it was supposed to end. Why it is still here, I have no idea. But it's, they're doing it in Edinburgh. It's everywhere. And it's been around so long that people that are young to me, but old enough to know better, like in their early 40s, are doing it, speaking in that manner. And sometimes I'll overhear a cell phone conversation by a, a man who's in business. How do I know he's in business? Because I hear things like, at the end of the day, let's circle back, let's get Eric in on this call. That's how I know he's in business. <laughs> and uh, he's well-dressed, Paul Smith suit, look to me, and, and presumably well-educated. This is a man of 42, again, young to me, but too old to be using a vocal fry. And, uh, this, I have written down what, what he said. I, I think he's in real estate. I should have said to him, it's not a bonus room, sir. It's not a bonus room. Don't treat us like that. It's a room. It's a room. We can ask the architect. Don't say, bon don't you bonus room me. But anyway, I, uh, so he's on, on the phone and this is his part of the conversation that I could hear. And this is a man of business, 42 years old, I think. He was like, will the place be sketch? I'm like, no, like what? This is a man of business in his early 40s. Why, why couldn't he say, uh, he asked if the place was threatening, ominous, unfavorable. I said, no, it's reliable, click. Why, why can't uh, we up our linguistic game now more than as a, as a nation? I feel that, that it wasn't meant to still be here. I don't know why. I feel like Chris is mad at me about the kid. Do you think that that's, I didn't mean it. No, no. Oh, oh, you're right there. Okay, so I just don't, I just don't wanna, look, again, I give modern art a try. Listen to me. I give modern art a try. That's the kind of person I am. Uh, and I don't even really want to. And I stand in front of the piece and I resist the urge to say, I could have done that. I think, I don't say it, I'm evolved. I'm evolved, I'm evolved. Listen, listen to this, years ago, when I was young, Hawaii Five-0, the original. One time the credits were rolling and I looked at my brother and I said, Cam Fong, it's Jin Ho. Why do you even change it? I wouldn't say that now. Do you see what I'm saying? I would never say that now. I'm so evolved. 45 seconds left, holy oh, moly. I didn't know, oh, uh, the, the uh, yeah, the grid's gonna go down. Yeah, so I don't know if that's a great way to leave, uh, but the people, that's not a good way to leave, but the people are gonna still be, it, I had a bigger thing about that, but now I, I can only look at the clock, it's 28 seconds. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know what, what to do. Uh, do you guys always have your CVS extra care card ready? Because <laughs> you really should. I went, I, I honestly, I got $21 back. I was getting an eyebrow pencil, we don't have time to get into why. I was getting another eyebrow pencil, I got $21 back, so really it'll behoove you. Um, eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. The miracle of Janine Garofalo.